All right, welcome back to art class, everybody. We are going to show you on your cities how to do windows, doors, and canopies. I think you're going to be excited to see those things and how those all uh, come together. If you look at that learning target again, it's exactly what it says here. Students will be able to draw windows, doors, and a canopy in one point perspective. And those are, again, some more details that are going to make that city a lot more interesting to do. And so um, let's go ahead and get started and see how it goes. Okay, so today we're going to show you how to do windows, doors, and canopies on your cities. Some more details that you can be adding to your city. And so if we look at our city here, I'm just going to put a building over here. And the reason why I'm going to put a building over here is so that we get a little better angle as far as our windows are concerned, okay? We want to try to make sure that we can really design our windows the way we want to design them and be able to see them the way we want to see them. And so I'm going to slide the first practice building over here like this for our windows just to show you basically how to draw a simple set of windows, okay? So actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to zoom in a little bit more here. And we're going to take a real close look at that building. And no matter what type or kind or style of window you're going to do, we're all going to start off with the same thing. It's not going to look right unless you set it up correctly. So even though if you were to drive through, let's say, downtown Des Moines, you're going to go by almost any building that's going to have a different style, type, or kind of window involved with it. Uh, it doesn't matter because we can do all those windows, but we really basically have to start off with a very simple shape or simple guidelines. And we're gonna call them guidelines. So what we start with is we start with the side of the building that's facing us. Remember this side of the building is facing Vanishing Point Road. So if we think about the side that's facing us, we're gonna draw a guideline parallel with the top of the building for the top of the window. Down here, guideline for the bottom of the window. Top of the window. Bottom of the window. Top of the window. Bottom of the window. Okay? Now, those are just parallel across the front of those uh, of our building facing us. Now, right here, we take this uh, top of the window right here, and we're going to go to the vanishing point. And we're going to draw that on Vanishing Point Road here, the side of the building that's facing, facing Vanishing Point Road. We're going to wrap that around just like this to the Vanishing Point. Wrap that around just like this to the Vanishing Point. We're wrapping that around to the Vanishing Point and to the Vanishing Point. Now we're going to draw the left and right side of our windows. So I'm going to go over here and say, okay, here is the right side of my window. And then, here's the left side of my window. Here's the right side of the window. Here's the left side of the window. Here's the right side of the window. And here's the left side of the window. Now I can do the same thing over here, right side of the window, left side of the window, right side of the window, left side of the window, right side of the window, left side of the window, all the way back here, just like so. Now, that could be the shape of your windows if you want them. But those are your basic guidelines for any window that you're going to draw. So let's say you wanted to draw an arched window. It's going to be arched like this on the side. It would be arched like this on the front. Let's say you want to draw a circular window. It's going to be like that on the side. It's going to be like this on the front. So no matter what size, style, type, style uh, window you want, you have to have these guidelines to help you so it wraps around the building correctly. Okay? So that's windows. 
Now let's talk about doors. A door, you guys, if I want to draw the front of a door, just like right here, the front of this building right here, I want to draw a door. I'm just going to go like this and draw a door. Just like this. It's facing us. It's nothing anything too fancy. Then I can put some fancy schmancy door trim around it like this. Okay, and there's my door. Now, if I had a door on the side of the building, I gotta go straight up like this. And then I gotta take it to the magnification point, and then straight back down, straight back down here, and have my door like this. Now, let's say I wanted to make a revolving door. You know one of those doors that spins around? So when I do that, you guys, it's kind of like drawing a stick figure like this, but chopping half his head off, okay? So it's like this. If I wanted to draw a revolving door, I would draw it like this and draw part of his head here. Then under the head, I'm going to erase everything just like this. And then in the middle of the head, I'm going to come straight down. That's the body. And then I'm going to kick a leg out this way. Kick a leg out this way, just like this. And then I'm going to take hair. I'm going to take the hair all the way down to the toes. And hair all the way down to the toes. And that starts to look like a revolving door. Now I put his arm here, and his arm here where it pushes. Then it really starts to look like a revolving door. Here's some reflective light there, the windows, like that. Okay? Let's show you how that looks on a building. Let's go down to this building here. I'm going to draw it really big so you can see it from afar. Okay, this would be way too big to have on this building. But we're going to throw it in here anyway, this big, because I want you guys to be able to see it when we zoom out. Okay? So there's the half head of our stick figure. Here's the body. I'm going to kick the leg out, kick the leg out, just like that. Long hair down to the toes, long hair down to the toes. An arm out this way, an arm out this way. Some reflective stuff there. And the fancy schmancy door trim all the way around it. Okay, there's our revolving door. Now the third thing we're going to tell you how to do is a canopy. It'd be like a fancy hotel where you get a walk in and you don't get wet. So when we think about, let's say, this building here, when we draw a canopy, we're going to offset it to the left a little bit. So I'm going to have it kind of off to the left like this. And then we're going to take this edge of the curve and go to the vanishing point, this edge of the curve and go to the vanishing point. And then I'm going to curve this around. Just like that, I'm going to take one leg here and another leg here, and then I've got the door behind like this, and there's our canopy, okay? So if we zoom out here just a little bit, and we take a good look at our city here, start to come together here with some good details, windows, doors, and canopies. Now work on that today, into this weekend, and on Tuesday, we'll have something new for you to try. So good luck. Here we go. Okay, so that's windows, doors, and canopies. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys can learn from that now and use these next few days and over the weekend to, uh, to really take some time and develop some different types and kinds of windows and doors uh, and canopies all throughout your city. Uh, those are all great details you can add. Now next week uh, on Thursday, or I'm sorry, on Tuesday, we got a good one for you. It's fields, courts, stadiums, and domes. So those people who like sports, those people who like to maybe want to think about doing a park, that next demo is going to be awesome. Hey, make sure you leave some space on your city for some of these things you might want. Okay? You guys have a good weekend. We'll talk to you next week.